Hi there, and welcome back. We all know that automated test shortens your development cycle, avoids cumbersome repetitive tasks, and helps improve software quality. But how do you get started? You can find your own answer after learning this chapter. Here, we'll walk you through different test automation scripting approaches and a strategy to choose the best fit one for your team. Before jumping into this mentioned approach and techniques, it's easier to get back to the basic. Scripting an automated test, by definition, indicates the process in which a test case is translated into sequences of action executed against a system under test. To be more specific, these sequence of actions can be documented in a test procedure and implemented in a test script. Besides, automated test cases also define test data for the interaction with the system under test, including verification step to ensure the result is as expected. There are different approaches that will be applied to different contexts. For example, the test automation environment implements test cases directly into automated test scripts. The option is the least recommended as it lacks abstraction and increases the maintenance loads. The test automation environment designs test procedures and transforms them into an automated test script. This option has abstraction but lacks automation to generate the test scripts. The test automation environment uses a tool to translate test procedure into automated test scripts. This option combines both abstraction and automated script generation. The test automation environment uses a tool that generates automated test procedure and or translate the test script directly from models. This option has the highest degree of automation. Moving on, I'll quickly walk you through these following approaches. First, is a capture and playback approaches. Second, it's a structure and scripting approaches. Third, it's a data-driven development. Fourth, it's a keyword-driven development. And last but not least, it's the model-based testing. For the capture and playback approaches, in terms of this one, tools are used to capture interaction with the application under test while performing a manual test case. A capture script is a linear representation of with specific data and action as part of each script. Thus, you need to duplicate the steps for creating new scripts. By applying these approaches, you can reap several benefits. First, it can be used for ATU on the GUI and or the API level. Initially, it is easier to set up and use. However, it also does come with some drawbacks, as the implementation of the test script can only start when the ATU is available. The capture script are hard to maintain. Second, for the structure and scripting approaches, in contrast to the linear scripting approach, the structure scripting techniques introduce the script libraries. Similarly, the pros includes a significant reduction of maintenance changes required. Second, is also the reduction in cost of automating new tests. And last but not least, it is largely attainable through the reuse of scripts. On the other side, the cons include the initial effort to create the shared script and the programming skill will be required to create all the shared scripts. Next is the data-driven development techniques. The data-driven scripting techniques builds on the structured scripting technique. The input are extracted from the script and put into one or more separate files. The pros includes the cost of adding new automated tests can be significantly reduced. Second, it gives deeper testing in a specific area and may increase test coverage. Lastly, it can specify automated tests simply by populating one or more data file. On the other hand, the cons includes the needs to manage data file and make sure that they are readable. The other one is that the negative tests are a combination of test procedure and test data may be missed. For the keyword-driven development process, the keyword-driven scripting techniques builds on the data-driven scripting techniques. There are two main differences. First, the data files are now called test definition files or something of the similar definition. Second of all, there are only one control script. The pros includes the cost of adding new automated tests can be significantly reduced. Secondly, it can specify automated tests simply by describing the test using the keyword or associated data. Lastly, the keyword can offer abstraction from the complexity of the interfaces of the system under test. On the other hand, the cons includes the implementing the keyword remains a big task for test automation engineer. Next, the care needs to be taken to ensure that the correct keyword are implemented. For the model-based testing, 
Model-based testing referred to the automated generation of test cases. Different test generation methods can be used to derive tests for any of the scripting framework discussed before. The following pros of this techniques includes a model-based testing allows by abstraction to concentrate on the essence of testing. In cases of change in the requirement, the test model has to be adapted only. The cons includes modeling expertise is required to run a model-based testing approach effectively. Furthermore, model-based testing approaches requires adjustment in the testing process. Remember, approach selection for automating test cases is heavily dependent on the context of the project. We walk you through five approaches to script your tests depending on your project contexts such as resources, capabilities, budget, and time, you will select the most suitable approaches. For example, for the early phase of introducing test automation to your project, you should implement a test case directly into an automated test script, so the capture and playback approaches is the most suitable. A more abstract approach such as the data-driven approach and key-driven approach are better for large projects, and a lot of automated tests need to be generated.